Hi guys, now we're gonna work on questions number one through four together. Um, question number one is on page 415. Underline the text that tells what Orsted discovered. Now, when you put this in Unified Classroom, you're just gonna type your answer in. So, the answer for this question is found in that first paragraph on page 415, it's actually the only paragraph. It's down towards the bottom, the last couple of sentences. So for this, we're looking, he discovered that a flowing electric current was producing a magnetic field. He also discovered that the forces of electricity and magnetism have a lot in common. And his discoveries led to the invention of the electromagnet. All right. For question number two, look at the bottom of page 415. There are two um, electromagnets here. And I want you to tell me which one, which circuit below has a break in it. Think back to last week. What did we say a break was? A break is a gap or a space in the circuit where power, the energy source is not getting through. So look at the two pictures. Which one has a break? The one on the left or the one on the right? It's the one on the left. And I'm going to try to hold it up for you. Do you see this break right here in between this little guy and this wire? That's your break in your circuit. So that's what you're gonna wanna circle. On page 416, let's look at question number three. Contrast. How is an electromagnet different from a refrigerator magnet? When you see the word contrast, that means I wanna know how they're different. So think about in a refrigerator magnet. A refrigerator magnet works without an electric current. We do not need an electric current flowing through that for that magnet to stick to our refrigerator. For an electromagnet, we do need an electric current. When the electric current is shut off, our electric magnet no longer works. So that's how those are different. Question number four, predict. Predict means it's not gonna come stri strictly out of the book. We wanna know what do you think is going to happen? So look at the photo of the electromagnet. What would happen if you attach the wire to a stronger battery? Think back to the three ways I told you that you could change the strength of an electromagnet. If I were to hook this up to a stronger battery, what do you think would happen? Well, I think the electromagnet would be stronger and it would pick up more paper clips. But you tell me in this question, what do you think? And it's okay if you think the same thing. Great job, no homework today. You just wanna make sure that you put the answers to these questions in Unified Classroom, just so I know that you followed along with me today. If you have any questions on what we read today, send me a message, I'm happy to help. Bye guys, I'll see you tomorrow.